The trick to roasting squash is to get it into manageable pieces. So what I like to do is to cut off the end, detach the long part from the bulbous part on the bottom, and then peel the entire long part. It's just easier to do this way. So once I finish that, I then cut the bottom of the bulbous part and peel around that. Once I do that, I take the long part and cut it into a more manageable piece. So I cut it in half, and then I start to cut my planks so I can start to dice my squash. Now again, when you dice something, you want it to be uh, the same size so that way it cooks evenly in the oven. So by making my planks and then making my juliennes, uh, these are larger than juliennes, but same point. So once I have the bottom part, I cut it in half and scoop out all the seeds. And cutting the bottom part's a little bit different because it's oddly shaped. So what I do is I rotate it down uh, the inside and cut from the inside out so that way I can get squares and cut off the knobby ends and then I just get all my squares all the way down. Once I do that, I pretty much have the same size as my other uh, cubes already. And then once everything's cut, I get them onto a sheet tray. And once they're onto the sheet tray, I add oil to them, season them with salt and pepper, and then I toss them quickly to roast. Now, you can roast these with your turkey or you can roast them separately. If you're roasting them with your turkey, you'll do it at 325 and you'll roast them until they're tender. If you're doing them at a higher temperature, they will caramelize, so you just want to make sure that they don't burn, um, but you will see a little bit more drastic color change if you do like a 375, for example.